some of the things I love to bring to this platform is daily UK updates and every opportunity that will enable you to migrate to the UK. Like we all know that the previous government made so many changes regarding dependent visa. In today's video, there is a new update from the new government. What they are trying to do is to see how they can review all what the previous government did regarding being able to bring your dependents to the UK. <music> hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is fajira if you're joining me for the very first time i'm so happy to have you all in our beautiful family and for my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos i really do appreciate if you're new to this channel i create contents on how you can migrate to the uk jobs with visa sponsorship in the uk uk immigration update live in the uk like everything you can think about the uk so if you're someone who is interested in such content or you know anybody who may be interested please do like and share this video with them i'm sure they will find it helpful and also to subscribe and join our beautiful family so just as you can see on my screen neighbor others review of plans 38,700 minimum salary to bring partners to the uk like we know that there has been so many changes in terms of being able to come with your dependent to the uk for even care workers for students and also uk residents and we know that most of these changes were made in the previous government now the new government in as much as they are trying to keep up with some of the changes as well as you can see that the labor government now is trying to review what the previous government have done now apart from the fact that they are trying to cut down net migration from the statistics from the history from all the publications you can see that most of these changes have affected the number of people who applied for visa within last year and this year before the figures used to be very high but now the figure has completely gone down bear in mind that most of these people who apply for visa the visa fee even if the visa is refused it's non-refundable if your visa is approved good for you and you also pay your IHS and all of that now from what the statistics changes that have taken place in the past few months everything has gone down yeah they want to cut that net migration we all know but in as much as they are doing this they are also still revealing what the previous government has done as you can see if it copa order the migration advisory committee to review what the minimum income requirement for family visas should be now in the past uh, updates she ordered that there should be suspension of the increase the previous government was like they were going to increase it after it was increased to 29,000 to 34,000 something and thereafter 38,700 by 2025. Now we are getting closer to 2025 and the new government have previously said that there should be a pause on what the previous government did. And not just only a pause, from what you can see, Labour has ordered a review of Tories plan to make British worker earn 38,000 or more in order to bring their spouse to the UK. Home Secretary Yvette Copper has given the Migration Advisory Committee mark nine months to report back on what the minimum income requirement for family visas should be. On that plans announced last year by Rishi Sunak, the threshold was hiked from £18,600 to £29,000. So it was scheduled to rise to 34500 and then 38700 by early 2025 as a part of previous government plans to cut net migration by 300000 a year. And imagine the previous government trying to cut migration for up to 300000 a year but in a letter on tuesday to mark share professor brain bell miss copper said this government is committed to bring down net migration and creating a fair and coherent system including on family migration policy i would like you to review the financial requirements and in particular regarding the level of the minimum income requirement the previous government's proposal to increase it and any other related consideration that you believe are relevant miss copper stressed that labor is always committed to bring down net migration which rose to a record high 764 thousand under the conservative and she said that when professor bell reports back she will consider the recommendation and decide whether that it should be implemented so now we don't even know if the salary requirement will be reduced after the review or it's going to remain at the figure the previous government has said they wanted it but now till the next nine months when mark will come back with this report if you're currently in the uk as a british citizen or you have your indefinite leave to remain and you intend to bring your 
partner and children from overseas you currently have to earn the 29,000 which it is at the moment so nine months from now should be sometime around maybe June Mark will come back to them sometime around June so from now to June those who are currently in the UK who are planning to bring their dependent they still just have to earn 29,000 pounds to enable them bring their dependent so tourist ministers previously delayed the jump to a 38,700 pound salary threshold above the 34,963,000 pounds medium gross annual salary I mean fears the change could have split up families living in the UK there's a lot I've complained about especially the British citizen how they are unable to bring their dependents to the UK because of the new salary threshold so the new government is looking into it and we hope they are going to come up with something from what they have ordered Mark to do. Miss Copper review could mean plans to hike the minimum salary threshold to £38,700 could be scrapped altogether. The major was expected to reduce net migration by tens of thousands. Sake Stammer said employers had become too reliant on workers from overseas and should always have a choice of recruiting a British worker first, which is what has been on ground since. Campaign group Reunite Families welcomed the review of salary threshold for family visas. Co-founder and executive director Caroline Combs said for too long, hidden in plain sight, the policy has devastated the personal life of countless loving couples and families who were denied the possibility of being together in the UK just because they did not earn the right amount or could not meet the increasingly stable holders put in front of them in order to do so so a lot of families as well have been devastated like we know that if you don't earn this amount you won't be able to bring your dependent so with what is happening now good thing about um the new government giving mark nine months to review this is that within that nine months people will still intend to bring their dependents can still do that without having to earn 38,000 700 pounds. Miss Cobb added the increase already introduced is a perfect example of policies made to crab headlines and driven by the imperative to be seen taking swift action on next migration. So we are just hoping that uh, Mark will come up with this and this is not anytime soon. This is going to be sometime in June. So let's just be positive and hope that they will come up with something that will be beneficial to everybody. So this is just what it is. Like I said that the new government as well is also trying to cut that net migration so they are not only doing this because they want to do it but they are doing it as well because they want to keep up with what the conservative have done in the past and also make people know that they are working very hard to tackle migration so guys this brings us to the end of today's video and i will look forward to the mac report but that's gonna be in another nine months and once there is an update I will come back and share with you and if you find this video helpful please do like and share with your friends and loved ones and also to subscribe if you're yet to join our beautiful family and until i see you in my next video guys do take care and have a lovely day thank you very much for watching bye bye for now